Well, hello, and welcome to another Divi tutorial, WordPress tutorial, take your pick, presented by Adriel Partners. Today, we're going to show you how to upload a PDF and use the dflipbooks plugin to make it a nice, viewable experience online. So to start with, we're logged into our WordPress backend. You can find this at your admin login section. And once you're logged in, we are going to go over to dflipbooks on the left. Now, this assumes that you already have that plugin, so we're just going to click on it, and that will take us to the dflipbooks section. A couple things you'll notice, like most other things in WordPress, this area has a title and a short code, some modification date, just some information on the uh, screen there for you. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a new book. Very simple. Click Add New Book, uh, and it's going to give you the opportunity to give you a title. Now, uh, I forgot what this is called. Oh, no, I don't. I remember now. Uh, this is McWilliams Buckley Magazine. November through December 2019. Now we can always change this later, but for now uh, that'll do just fine. All right, uh, I'm gonna save the draft right away just so this is saved. And then we're gonna go and look at a couple of options here. Book source type, this is a PDF file, yes. Uh, and then it lets us select what PDF we wanna use. Now, when you click it, it's gonna take you to your typical media uploader. And you can either go to your media library if you've already uploaded one. So for instance, this will show you only PDF files that you've uploaded to your library. But in this case, we need to upload the PDF file directly. So we're gonna go back to the Upload Files tab. Uh, I could open up a, a window and then drag and drop, but for now I'm just gonna click Select Files. Notice, by the way, the maximum upload file size. This is set by your web host, by your website provider. Uh, so that certainly can be increased if needed. But as a general rule, you don't want to be uploading PDFs that are super huge because they take a long time to download. Uh, so we're going to click Select Files. Uh, and I've already loaded up this directory. This is where I stored the files. And here's the uh, PDF I created. Now, that's just a quick note also. Uh, the one before, uh, right up here, you can see in the list, this was the one that I received. It was 48 megabytes. Just as a reminder, the user has to download that in order to view the file. So what I did was I exported that source file, the original file, I exported it in a more compressed format with Adobe Acrobat to get the file size down to 6.4 megabytes. Whenever you get down to that level, that's a much better experience for the user. The trick is to not compress it too much so that it doesn't look bad, um, but that's you know personal taste. So I'm gonna click Choose, and then you'll notice that just like any other area in the site, it gives me my progress bar uploads it. Uh, I don't think I need to copy the link for this, uh, but just in case, I'm going to do that uh, in case I need it later. And you'll see the option down here on the bottom right, the button is send to dflip. So click that and you can see it puts the link in there, so I didn't need to copy it at all. The other thing is it lets you choose a PDF thumbnail. This is the image that the user will see when they're on the actual page where you'll feature the flipbook. So uh, I'm just going to click this one. Um, they are often similar covers. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to click this one here, even though that's March cover. Uh, I'll upload another cover later and switch it. But for now, uh, you can just see you pick an image, send to dflip. Um, if you wanted to add categories or things like that, you could do that. Uh, we only have one category of flipbook on this website, so that's not really necessary. But if you had a, a whole selection of flipbooks, you could do that. The other options, the layout, outline, those are probably things you can just leave set to their defaults. Uh, you typically don't want to be setting this stuff for individual flipbooks. You want everything to be consistent. So uh, that's done. I'm going to click Publish. And just like other things in the site, it'll tell me up here at the top a little message with a green, uh, green line saying Post Published. Now, before I leave this page, I need to go and I need to get this short code. This is how this dflipbook plugin works. You generate your flipbook and then you copy the short code. And as a reminder, in WordPress, a short code is this little block of code with a square bracket, some text, and then uh, typically an ending square bracket over here. So I'm going to copy this. I don't need to click anything else because I've already saved this flipbook. What I want to do now is go and put it on the page where it's going to live. So to do that, I go to my pages page over here. Uh, this particular site has it listed on the media page. I'm going to go to the next thing here. I'm going to go to media. 
As always, we're using the Divi Builder, so that's how we work with stuff. And you can build on the front end if you want to see things visually. The tricky part is, uh, this is a short code. So it's not like some of the other media elements where you can see the image right off the bat. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and stay here, uh, but I'll click the desktop view so that we can just kind of see how things appear on the page. Uh, and you'll notice that we have a couple of options here. These are previously added flipbooks. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate. Uh, I'm going to duplicate this right here. Uh, we're, in another tutorial, we can talk more about how we, um, how we format things, where we put stuff. But for now, I'm just going to pop it there, uh, and you'll see that it created another one down here. So uh, this is March 2019. This is January. Uh, looks. Oh, you know why this is showing up? In order to force this to line up right, I uh, I went ahead and just made a lot, a lot of changes with the padding. So don't let that throw you. Um, there are any number of different ways to do it. We'll deal with layout at another time. But for now. You'll see we've got January up there. We duplicated it. Here's January down here. All I'm going to do is click the gear icon because this is a code block. Remember that we're using a short code. So even though you see an image on the screen, that's not really an image module like you would typically put on a page like this. It's a code module. So I'm going to select this code that came when I duplicated the module. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to paste. And oh, well, I don't need to copy that. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, there we go, much better. All right, I'm gonna paste that. Here's our dflip ID. This ID number is what sets up, yeah, sets this to refer to the right flipbook. I'm gonna click my green checkbox, and in just a moment, this is gonna load the flipbook down there. Uh, I'm gonna take a look also at this up here. Um, oh, you know, I forgot something here, look at that. I forgot that there is an option here that we need to set Otherwise, it'll show up on the page as if you want to view it in the page. We don't want to do that. So in the code from my previous one, I forgot that there's a little option here, type equals thumb. So I'm going to copy that. Uh, in my case, command C. You might be control C if you're on a PC. Then I'm going to go back to the gear icon down here. I'm going to command V, paste that. And there we go. Ta-da! Now, you'll notice that the thumbnail is the same because we just picked the one from March. But when you put your mouse on top of it, you'll notice that it shows you it's November, December 2019. So I've put this on the page. Again, we're not going to deal with layout at this point. This is just teaching you how to get it onto the page, and you can arrange it however you like. Uh, but from that point, uh, we should be good. I'm going to scroll down, click Update. Now, you'll notice that we're still in the back end editor. That's why there's there's a save button or there's an update button. Uh, either one of those works. If you're on the front end, you have the little purple menu at the bottom that you click, uh, but we're not there. So there we have it. We've added that, and we're going to view our page just to see how it looks like, uh, what it looks like, rather. And here we go. So here's our January one. Here's the one we just added, November, December 2019. When you click it, it opens it up. Shows you this nice little loading screen. Now remember, this is having to load that PDF. That's why you don't want it to be super big. But here it is. Uh, we can then just go over and have a nice little experience with our flipbook. All right, hope this has been helpful to you and that you can use it to update your own flipbooks. As always, uh, we have all sorts of things available for you at adrialpartners.com or just contact, uh, contact us directly. We're always happy to help. Thanks a lot. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.